Hi, I'm Nikki Sizemore here in the Fine Cooking Test Kitchens. This easy dish is the perfect main course for vegetarians, but it's also a stunning side dish for any occasion. Our version gets served with a rich brown butter sauce that is so good, even the meat eaters will be running to the table. So the first thing we need to do is prep our head of cauliflower. So we wanna remove any of these leaves and stalks. Now what I'm going to do is cut out about an inch and a half from the core, just using the tip of my knife. We wanna keep the cauliflower head intact, but this is just going to help it cook more evenly. Pop that out, and there we go. So I've got a baking sheet here. I'm just gonna line this with some parchment paper. Put the cauliflower right in the middle. We'll sprinkle this with some salt and pepper. So what we want to do is first roast the cauliflower cover, which is going to help it steam and start to cook all the way through. All right, I'm gonna throw this into a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. We want that cauliflower to be partially cooked. When you're shopping for cauliflower, you want to look for heads that are nice and white, no dark brown spots. The leaves should be green and crisp, and the cauliflower should feel heavy for its size. The cauliflower is just about ready to come out of the oven, so I'm going to make a quick coating that we're going to brush over top. I have a third of a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm going to add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and then some fresh thyme leaves. You could also use another hearty herb like a rosemary or sage. So this coating is not only going to give the cauliflower a lot of flavor, but it's also going to create a delicious crust on top. So at this point, we've been steaming it. You can see, see that steam that's rising. This is going to start to get the cauliflower tender all the way through. So now I'm just going to brush this coating all over top. This whole roasted cauliflower is such a stunning presentation. If you bring the whole cauliflower to the table, it always makes my guests go, wow. <laughs> now the cauliflower needs to go back into the oven. We wanna cook it until it's golden brown and tender. It should take about 20 to 25 more minutes. Now I've made this brown butter sauce to go over top. It's just brown butter, chopped hazelnuts, capers, and lemon juice. It is absolutely delicious. So when you serve this, you can either cut it into planks or cut it into wedges. And then like I said, serve some more of that brown butter sauce over top. For more tips and recipes, go to finecooking.tv.